happy Wednesday. We are so excited you're here for another Kids Experience Online. Today, I want you to go grab a snack and get your notebooks, like actually get your notebooks today because you're gonna need them here in a little bit. And grab your Bible because Indianola First Kids and New Journey Kids are coming to your house. You know, you don't have to be the best singer to honor God with song, and you don't have to be the best dancer to give it all you got when it comes to worshiping. Why is that? Because worship isn't about you, it's about how good God is, not how good you are at singing or dancing or yelling or whatever. It's all about how good God is. And so we honor God by worshiping Him, by lifting our hands, singing loud, dancing, and just telling Him how much we love Him. So I don't know about you, but I'm ready to give God all I have during worship today.
I'm gonna let my light show Even in the darkest night No, nothing's gonna hold me
boys and girls, who do you think loves you the most? Do you think it's your mom or your dad? Or maybe it's a friend or family member or grandma? Whoever that is, today we're gonna to be talking about feeling loved. And I don't know about you, but have you ever gotten in trouble before from like maybe not listening to your parents? I remember a time when I was little and instead of cleaning the toy room like I was asked, I snuck out of the toy room and went and played Mario Kart uh, for a few hours and the whole time I think my parents thought I was cleaning, but I lied and I was actually playing Mario Kart. Obviously I got in big trouble. My parents, they weren't even, as much, or they weren't really even mad at me as much as as they were disappointed in me. And I remember feeling like, oh, they don't love me anymore because I've messed up. I, 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 they're never gonna forgive me. I feel unlovable and unwanted because I had to go to my room and, you know, but they did that. They disciplined me because they loved me. And I think sometimes even like, we feel unloved like at school, like at recess, okay? When, when your friend, your best friend who you play with every single recess, every single um, recess that you get a chance to, you play with her or you, maybe it's in your neighborhood or now since it's summertime and um, your neighbor girl or neighbor boy lo you, who you love to play with decides to go play with somebody else for a day and you just feel unwanted. You don't, you feel like you have no friends and no one um, wants to be with you but here's where this is a lie. I think the enemy would love for us to think that we're unlovable, that nobody loves us, but God loves you. He chooses you. And even though sometimes when we feel unloved, we can remember that God loves us more than anything in the entire world. And so that's what our big idea is. Check it out. I am loved because God loves me. God loves you and he won't ever stop loving you. So we're gonna head over to Connect HQ to see what more information we can find out. All right, three orange juices coming right up. You know what? Let's just uh let's skip the orange juice. I heard people don't drink enough water anyways. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. I'm Jink, and this is the time Connect HQ had its annual review. Then what happens? Do we both stand? Do I sit and she stands? Jake, relax. I'm nervous. This is my first evaluation. It's like taking a big test that it's too late to study for. Evaluation makes it sound so serious. The Connect checklist is just an opportunity for Captain Ray to make sure everything is running smoothly and we're all doing what we need to do. You're not nervous at all? Why should I be? Captain Ray loves me, and every year I get a perfect score. All check pluses. Then she thanks me for my service and I get this trophy. Check plus champion. Wow. And Captain Ray gives this to you? Nah, I give it to myself. I figure I deserve it. I made it out of an old bowling trophy. It's very nice. Sounds like we just got some mail. Dear Connect HQ, when I went to church last week, they told me that God loves me, but I don't see how. I stole a candy bar from the store a month ago, and when I didn't get caught, I did it a few more times. I kind of enjoyed it. How could God possibly love me when I like to steal things? From Alex in Texas. Hmm. Wow, yeah. Stealing is 
definitely bad and Alex shouldn't do it, but does what we do change how God feels about us? Can you help me find the links for Alex? Definitely, but first, I need to go get my review so I can hear Ray tell me how wonderful I am. <laughs> Punctuality, check plus. Proper attire, check plus. Commitment, check plus. Follows directions, check. Professionalism. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh, Captain, I think you missed a check plus there. <laughs> no, Mike, I could only give you a check for follows directions. <laughs> That's a, that's a good one. I almost, it almost got me there. I almost fell for that. Whew. Remember last month whenever I asked you to clean the lounge and then when I went to check, you had Tony cleaning the lounge? Yeah, I was delegating. <laughs> delegating is a good skill to have, but in that moment, I wanted you to do it. But, yeah, but, but, but I, so, no check plus? <laughs> Don't be upset, Mike. We all have things that we can improve on. Why? Why? Why don't you like me anymore? Mike, I still like you. The way you perform on this checklist, it doesn't change that. I can, I can fix this. I can prove it. Mike, I'm sure by the next review, you'll be back to check plus. Next review? I need to check plus now. Here, just give me a direction. I'll follow it blindly. <sighs> Sorry, Mike, I don't have time. At any moment, Maurice is gonna drop in for his review. And there he is. Hey, hey Maurice. Maurice. Hey there. Am I early? Yeah, I need a few minutes. Oh, okay. No, Maurice, you're right on time. Okay. But I need to prove Mike, that. Mike, we can talk about it later, okay? I can't talk about it later. I, actually, I can talk about it later because I follow directions. I'm a good direction follower. I am a check plus worthy direction follower. <laughs> Hey, Mike, mm -hmm. remember that postcard? Can you help? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. We need a good verse link to help Alex out. Yeah, it sounds like you got it. Good job. That's wonderful. No, I haven't. I... Shh, shh, shh. Ray's coming. Oh, it's you. Hey, guys. Hey, Maurice. Mike, you seem distracted. Would God love Alex more if he stopped stealing? The lounge is looking really clean. Great job, Maurice. What? No! It was me! I I did that, right? That was me! Great. Now he's gone. Hey, you don't happen to know any great verses about losing God's love when we're bad. We don't lose God's love when we're bad. It says so in one of my favorite Bible verses. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Let's say it like this. Romans 5, 8. Romans 5, 8. But here is how God has shown his love for us. But here is how God has shown his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God loves us so much. He chose to send Jesus to die on the cross to take the punishment for our sins. He loved us even before we were born. He loved us long before we were ever sorry for our sins. Our bad behavior, our sin, didn't stop God from loving us. That's right. I think that'll really help Alex. Thanks, Maurice. The verse link is Romans 5, 8. Verse link acquired. Can you get me a pencil? Yes, Captain. Here's your pencil as directed. Thank you. Could you sharpen it? Yes, Captain. You're... Direction is the thing I follow. Um, pencil sharpener, pencil sharpener, where is a pencil sharpener? Oh, okay. Were you able to sharpen that? I work on it. Stop, what are you doing? I couldn't find a sharpener. You could have just gotten me another pencil. You didn't say get you another pencil, you said sharpen this one, and I follow orders. <laughs> Mike, you truly take the cake. I will take the cake wherever you'd like me to take it. What are you even talking about? Mike, what's really going on? I'm showing you that I can follow orders fully and that I do check plus work. I'm very happy with the work that you do. But I need you, I need you to like me again. You really think I don't like you? 
Get out of here. Yes, Captain. Oh, no, Mike. Don't follow that order. Hey. Looks like you're up to something very important. I'm trying to find the right Bible link to share with this kid, Alex, who asked for our help. The Bible is filled with so many great stories about God's love. I just want to find the perfect one. I have an idea of a Bible link that might do the job. May I? Here. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. is alive. Long ago, there lived a man named John. He was known as the disciple who Jesus loved. One day, Jesus invited John to follow him and be his disciple. John left his boat and nets behind to follow Jesus. Jesus talked to John and taught him many things. Jesus invited John to go many places with him. Jesus loved John very much. When things seemed scary or sad, Jesus reminded John that everything would be okay. When things were hard, Jesus was happy John was near. As he was dying on the cross, Jesus looked down at John, standing beside Mary, his mother. Jesus trusted John so much, he invited John to be in his family and take care of Mary, his mother. And, and John, John did. did. John was honored to be invited into Jesus' family and take care of his mother. John remembered the time he spent with Jesus. As Jesus was dying on the cross, John stayed close to Jesus. He stayed by Mary so he could comfort and help her. John stayed by Jesus even when things became very hard. John was sad when the soldiers came to take Jesus away. John loved Jesus very much. John had followed Jesus and helped him serve people. John always listened very closely to everything Jesus said. John was so glad that he had said yes when Jesus invited him to be his disciple. Long ago there lived a man named John. He was known as the disciple who Jesus loved. Because Jesus loved John, he invited John to be his follower. And while Jesus was dying on the cross, he invited him to be a part of his family. Jesus loved John. Not because of anything great John had done, but because of how great Jesus is. And Jesus loves us too. He calls us to follow him and to be a part of his family. They say that John was the disciple that Jesus loves. Well, Alex is the kid that Jesus loves. You should tell Alex that. No sin can take away from that love. Just like no big thing we can achieve can make God's love bigger. Someone should probably tell Mike that. He seems pretty distracted by check pluses today. That gives me an idea. What are you doing, Maurice? Uh, this device helps me to see behind the walls to the ductwork underneath. I think we have a blockage somewhere. The air isn't flowing as it should. Have you seen Mike? Yeah, just a few minutes ago. I was telling Mike about how blocked the air ducts in the rafters were. I see. Wait, what were your words exactly to him? I think I said, you have to go up and see how bad it is up there. Oh. Ow. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Is that how I look coming down? Oh. I, I am going to go get some aspirin. Oh. Freeze. Turn around. Come here. <laughs> Mike, there's something you need to know. I know. I disappointed you. I'm not doing check plus work. <laughs> no, Mike. <laughs> Jake wrote this, and I think you need to read it. Uh, I am loved because God loves me. 
Yes, and everyone here at Connect HQ loves you too. It doesn't matter how you do on some review, but most importantly, I am loved because God loves me. <laughs> yes, just like when you sin, it doesn't take away from that love. No big achievement that you make can add to that love either. He already loves you perfectly. <laughs> so you don't like me less because I didn't get a check plus? <laughs> of course not. You know what? I think we've all had quite the day. I say we go find Jake and the four of us go get some ice cream. I shouldn't, I'm really watching my calories. No, that's a mandatory order. Okay, let's go then. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. Wait, we can get check pluses on those evaluations? When does anybody tell me these things? Jake here. I got your postcard, and I wanted to let you know God loves you. God loved you before you even knew you needed love. The Bible says this about God's love. Say it with me. Romans 5, 8. But here is how God has shown his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Every one of us has sinned. Our bad deeds don't change God's love for us. John was known as the disciple Jesus loved. Jesus invited John to be his follower, and he invited John to be part of his family. Jesus loves every one of us just like that. Sometimes we think our sin will cause God to love us less, and sometimes we think we can do good things to make God love us more. But that's not the way it works. If we accept God's love, he forgives our bad deeds and helps us make better choices. I am loved because God loves me. And no matter how much we mess up, nothing will make God's love for us smaller. God showed his love by sending Jesus to earth. Jesus died for us even before we could love him. And when you choose to follow Jesus, God adopts you as a loved kid in his family. Thanks again for your question, Alex. Remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Going bowling, gonna polish this trophy. Ah! Oh! High five. I should learn to bowl. No award you can get or thing you can accomplish will ever change Jesus' love for you. And there's no greater thing that we can do than to accept that love and become followers of Jesus. And if you wanna become a follower of Jesus, all you have to remember are your ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. And if you want to make the decision to follow Jesus, be sure to talk about it with your parents or a leader that you trust. That was so much fun hanging out with Connect HQ. Okay, I want to read this verse from my laptop real quick to you. Romans 5.8 says this, But here is how God has shown his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I love that. God gave his one and only son to die on the cross for us, for all the sin that we would commit, all the mistakes we would make. His son died for us so we could have a relationship with him and go to heaven with him someday and spend eternity there, spend forever there. That is love. God loves you so, so much. And so today, this is what I want you to do, and this is where your notebook comes in handy. Here in a second, you're gonna see the screen, and the, our video is gonna end with this screen, and it has a bunch of verses, not a bunch, like five or six verses, for you to go look up in your Bibles, write them down, and read how each of those verses shows how God loves you. The Bible is a great example and a great way that helps us understand why God loves us and how he loves us and how his love is so big. So I want you to go write these verses down right now as you see them on the screen, and go look them up and write down and see how God loves you, okay? And remember it this week, that God loves you so much and that you are loved by God, 
Okay, and I love you too. So we're gonna see you on Sunday. Um, we're getting closer to being together again and I can't wait to see you all. So there'll be more details on that to come, but um, I hope you have a great week and a great weekend and spend time with your family. And remember that Jesus loves you so much. <laughs>